Welcome back to our special edition of This Week in Louisiana Agriculture from Falkton, South Dakota. October 19th was the opening day of pheasant season here. That's a bird we don't have down in Louisiana. Hunters from all over the world come here to hunt these usually prolific birds, but the last two years of drought here have taken a toll on the pheasant population, and while the numbers may be down, it hasn't stopped upland hunters from trying their hand at bagging these colorful game birds. Hey, birdie, 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 birdie. Rooster! Hey, oh, hey, rooster, rooster! Well, this is what we are looking for. Uh, the males have this distinctive coloring as well as this white band around the neck. The females are more of a kind of a brownish tan color and uh, to the experienced hunter they're a lot easier to spot on the fly, no pun intended. Uh, but uh, one of Troy's uh, friends got this bird and this is kind of what we've been looking for and it almost has an iridescent color across the top of its back and uh, just a beautiful, beautiful bird all around. It's excitement. <laughs> You're out here with uh, all your friends and family, and uh, you know, it's, when you talk about tradition, it doesn't get any better in South Dakota than than uh, opening day of pheasant season. So it's, uh, it's a lot of fun to be out with these guys every year doing this. Hey, bird. We kind of joke about uh, getting uh, getting outsmarted by a bird that's got a brain the size of a pea, but they'll they'll make fools of us every year usually. So. <laughs> uh, Coming out of two years of drought, and that's certainly didn't do the pheasants any favor. You know, there's probably been some loss of habitat over the last few years with a lot of CRP coming out, and that's that's been, um, you know, a challenge for them as well. Well, we are coming to the end of the hunt, and uh, so far, I have come up empty-handed. Uh, we've killed three roosters this morning, and uh, from what they tell me, that's not bad. Uh, this is the first day of pheasant season, as we uh, mentioned earlier, and uh, these, these, these hunters are pretty fired up about this, and, and pheasant season here in South Dakota will actually go until the 5th of January, so uh, still a lot of hunting left to do in this part of the country. Got him. I got it, I got it. And I believe that was the one. I believe that was the bird we were looking for. Whoo, lucky shot. How's it feel, man? Man, that's outstanding. You got him, man. You got your bird. Look at that beautiful bird. My goodness, look at there. Congratulations, your first pheasant. Thank you. <laughs> that is a beautiful bird. I mean, just a beautiful bird. And uh, I appreciate you guys putting him in my lane because uh, I, as I was telling AJ, when I look out over that, if I'm a pheasant, that's club med to me. <laughs> yeah. After calling the hens, you can definitely tell the length of the plumage and the wingspan seems to be a little bit, well, I don't know whether it's the flight pattern that these birds the, the take. The hens will fly a little bit different yeah, than, they do. than a rooster yeah. does. Yeah, they really do. Yeah. That was a very lucky shot. That does it for this edition of This Week in Louisiana Agriculture from Falkton, South Dakota. Before we leave you today, we want to thank our hosts, Troy and Stacy Hadrick, for inviting us into their home for dinner. We also want to thank South Dakota Secretary of Agriculture, Lucas Lynch, and ranchers Monty Williams and Jimmy and Riley Kammerer for telling us their very emotional stories. For more from our trip here to South Dakota, you can visit our website at twilighttv.org and be sure to click on our Facebook page. We've posted lots of photos of our trip here as well. For all of us here at This Week in Louisiana Agriculture from Falkton, South Dakota, I'm Michael Dana. Thanks for joining us, everybody. Hope to see you again right here next week.